We're about to surprise a subscriber with a $1,000 cake and she has no idea that we're coming to her house. Welcome to How To Cook That. I'm Anne Ridden and this is of course... Dave Ridden. My lovely husband, you guys know him. Now one of the things you've been asking for is could we do mail time on camera. So Dave has been down to the PO box, thank you for that. I'm going to give you a heavy parcel, I don't know what that one is. And let's see, this one is from Judy. Okay, me first. Yeah. Read the 100 year old baking hacks. My father took bread and dripping to school for his lunch in the depression Ooh. era. Wow, thank you for that Judy, that was very cool. What's in your one? I have a terrific book That's by... Quite sweet world's cookbook. Yeah. Bush says, hope you're doing well. Wanted to send you a copy of my new cookbook for you to enjoy. 75 all new recipes always been a fan of yours for so long hope you enjoy it keep up the amazing content oh look if i can find where you buy the cookbook i might put a link to that below so that is her new good cookbook. on you what is this one another letter another letter do you want me to open something yeah you can open that one i don't know what that is either happy year happy year this is from cass and Cass also got a puppy. We got a puppy, as you know, Molly. She got a puppy, Missy, at the same time. When she got home from school yesterday, I came into my room and she was fast asleep on my bed. She loves socks, tissues, and cling wrap. Molly loves socks and tissues. If she can get into the recycle <laughs> bin in particular, oh my goodness, That's what she it's makes for. a huge, huge mess. Don't you think it'd be so much fun just to rock up on the doorstep of one of our subscribers and just surprise them? You should do it. But how would you choose who? Like there is so many. Someone in Australia. Well, that would make life easier. That would make life easier. Hey, and what is this? Oh yeah. So we got. Uh, so oh look at that. This is Anne's recipes, and no, this, this is, is Dave's notes. Dave's notes for my next book. Who was that from? I don't know. Pa Papier. Papier. Yeah. We love your channel. Just wanted to send you a little personalised gift, and we added something in for Dave too. Yeah, thank you. Just as well because he's in mail time with me. Kind as regards Sarah oh, cool. and the Papier team. Thank you. That's very nice. Thanks, Papier. I know this is from. I'm excited about this one. This yeah. is from Mud Australia. Mm. I really, really like Mud. Do you want to explain what Mud is? <laughs> it's. <laughs> You know all the little bowls in my videos, the little ones, lots of people ask where I got them from? Ta da! They're from mud. They're very pretty. They're pretty and they're fine. I really, really like ceramics and pottery, and I think because I like artistic, crafty things, I mm. really appreciate things that are well crafted. These are a favourite. These are handmade, right? Yeah, they're um, with, it's called a, yeah, I can't remember. Lots of little bowls. You will see these in upcoming videos. It was very kind out. of them. Very kind. Thank you, Mud. So, who are we going to go to? You reckon we really can? We should. Well, who would we pick? Well, like a real, like a super fan. Someone who comments, someone who, well, obviously they've written, yeah, but comments all the time. So someone written. Yeah, I know, but maybe someone with a good story. Someone who's... You know who, who could be good, and I'm pretty sure she's in Australia. You know the, the girl who sent a hand-painted card to James when he was in hospital? Oh, yeah. And she sent me a handmade birthday card before, yeah. and she's one of the first to comment nearly every video. Yeah. I reckon I can look for her card, because the birthday card she sent had a flower. Ah, and she card. wrote when James was sick, right, when he was really sick. She did, and mm. she said in her card that she's been in hospital a lot herself as well. Done. So, and she's had several she's the surgeries. One. But where does she live? Where <laughs> she lives? She in Australia? Emily. She's in Queensland. That's part of Australia. It is. It's not in the same state, but it's only a P.O. box. Ah. So we can't just rock up to a P.O. box and go, surprise! What if I was to write to the parents at the P.O. box? Because it's probably their P.O. box. It probably is, because kids don't usually have a P.O. box. We just got an email here from Emily's mum. Your idea sounds great, and I'm very happy to help you make this a really special time for Emily. Yay! I'm trying to decide what to do 
for Emily's cake. We fly in a couple of days, so I need to bake today. I need to get this all sorted out. I'm stressing out a bit. I've been emailing her mum, so I know she likes chocolate. So I've already decided on a chocolate cake. I've also found this little um, box idea that you put some uh, plastic bag things in and you pull out surprises that are hidden inside the cake. Usually, traditionally, they just have money in them. So we might put some cash in there so she can go buy some stuff, but also Dave's secured some tickets. So I wanna put that inside. So I was thinking a cake about this size would be good. And then I can hide that inside. Chocolate cake, chocolate bars around the outside. And then I remembered on a plane, you're not allowed to hold things on your knee for takeoff and landing. They have to be in the overhead compartment or under the seat in front of you. So I pulled out my hand baggage case to measure how tall those compartments are. And it's way too big. There's no way this is gonna fit. So I'm gonna have to go back to the cake decorating shop, get a different cake box, smaller cake boards, and shrink my whole idea down so that it will fit in the overhead compartment. I'm also a little bit worried because on planes, when they come into land, the whole plane actually tilts like this. And because I'm not holding the cake, I can't balance that out and tilt it the other way. The actual cake is just going to tilt. So I'm a bit concerned that we're gonna get there and have a cake that's fallen apart. Um, I guess if that happens, I don't know, I guess it depends how bad it is, whether I'll be able to repair it or not. I'm just kind of hoping and praying that the cake stays together. But first of all, we need to actually make it. I'm making up a big bowl of milk chocolate ganache for between the layers. And then I'm gonna put that in the fridge to firm up while I bake the cakes. I'm using my rich chocolate cake and the recipe for that is of course on the How To Cook That website with a video showing how to make it so I'm not gonna do that here. It does have a lot of eggs in it and that makes it a really moist cake. You can also swap the flour out for gluten-free flour if you're celiac or just not eating gluten. We're gonna need four trays of this cake because the cake we're making is quite big. The plastic box that I had is a bit too big, so I'm making my own just by cutting a firm box down to size. Then we're gonna need a plastic tube in the middle. This is just a cake support tube and I've cut it to the same width as the box. And then I'm just gonna spike a cake pop stick right the way through the middle so it sticks out either side and looks like that. Next, we just need a slit at the top. Now, I don't want that in the middle. I want it right at the front or the back, and it needs to be just wide enough to pull these out of it. So once it's finished, my box looks like this. It has a roller in the middle and a slit right over to one side. Slide your money into your bags. In Australia, our notes are actually plastic, so you probably could wash these up really well and just use them, but I just don't like the thought of money touching food, so I'm gonna put it all in bags. Now we have to put all of those together. So what you have to do is peel off the adhesive from one and just join the next one on like that. And once they're all joined together, you can roll them around the tube and roll it up and then secure it inside the box using the cake pop stick. Then I'm gonna wrap the whole thing in sticky tape so it doesn't absorb the moisture from the cake or the frosting. Now that the cakes are cooled, you can cut them into squares and you should be able to get two squares from each tray. Then add a little bit of ganache onto a cake board that is slightly bigger than the size we cut the squares of cake. And this ganache is just to stop the cake from slipping. Then add your first layer of cake on top. And then because this is not being eaten today, I'm gonna to add some simple syrup to keep it really moist. This is just equal quantities of sugar and water heated together until the sugar is dissolved. Stack up your first three layers and then add cake support rods. I'm using four rods, one in each corner. Spread on a thin layer of ganache, add a cake board, a little bit more ganache, and then your next layer of cake and then stack it up to the top. Use something straight to make sure you've stacked them directly on top of each other, not crooked like me, and adjust that just to make it right. Cover the top of the cake in buttercream, making it as flat as you can, and do the same on all four sides. I am using buttercream on the sides. I use ganache between the layers. You can use ganache on the sides as well if you want to, it's up to you. Run something straight along the edge, 
and then add more buttercream wherever you have gaps and then just run it along again. The frosting is nearly done and now I have remembered that I've got to put a box inside the cake. So if you're making this, put the box in before you do the frosting. Cut a hole in the top that is the depth of the box plus a little bit and scoop out that cake and then add the box into place, pushing it down firmly. And then you want to hide the evidence by covering that over with buttercream. Now for the outside, I want to have chevroned patterned Kit Kats. Now I started cutting them on a 45 degree angle at each end, but then it didn't look that neat when I put them together. So instead, I decided that it's much easier if I put them together like this, in this sort of pattern, and then I don't have to cut any of the ones in the middle. I only have to cut the ones at the edge. And to do that, I'm putting them between two cake boards and trimming it off in a straight line. Once you've cut them all, add them to the sides of your cake. And once all the sides are done, then use two boards to gently just push them into the buttercream. I want to make sure they stay there and they're not going to fall off while we're traveling. And now to package it for the plane. This cake is really heavy, so I'm hoping it's not over the hand luggage weight limit. And hopefully the box will hold all the Kit Kats in place while we're traveling because this cake's gonna be out of the fridge for the whole journey. I know that she likes Harry Styles, so I thought I might put a butterfly on the top, which is his tattoo, just as a nod to that. Then I'm just cutting around it so that the shape is perfect. We need supports, obviously, so that we can poke it into the top of the cake, but also I've got this cross support that is going to have the packet over the top. To make it strong, get two little rectangles of fondant and add them on top of the rods at the back. Then flip the whole thing over and using an edible food grade marker, draw on the butterfly tattoo pattern. Personally, I've never had a tattoo. I don't really want one, but I'm just imagining as I draw all these lines, how much this would hurt. It's so detailed to get all of that inked in with needles just sounds very painful. Then we want to roll a really thin snake of black and add that on for the antenna. Then to pack my suitcase, load up the car, get the cake and we're off. So you wrote James a letter a while ago when he was in hospital and you mentioned then that you yourself had had like 20 surgeries or anything before. <laughs> Do you mind me asking why you had so many surgeries? Um, I have juvenile arthritis. I've had that since I was three. Wow. So um, I just go in every now and then when it starts to get really bad. And you said you had one when you were awake? Yeah, I've had a couple when I'm awake. <laughs> That's very brave and it doesn't sound like a lot of fun at all, <laughs> not at all. And you said in the comments a while ago that you wanted to marry Harry Styles. Are you still a fan? <laughs> yes. Yes. So did you recognise the top of the cake? Yes. We'll take the butterfly off and then we'll have it and we'll have some morning tea mm -hmm. together. Does that sound good? Yes. Keep pulling. <laughs> Keep pulling. <laughs> See, there's lots of surprises today. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we've got some money for you to spend on whatever you want and then this one is for the whole family to go to Movie World mm -hmm. and then also down the bottom we have the whole family can go to Chow in the Chocolate Factory musical. We thought that soon as your mum and your sister and everyone else has been keeping the secret so well, we'd do something we could all do together. So, Thank you. No worries. What do you think you'll so, buy? I don't know. <laughs> Matt, do you know and so yeah, this is actually go. a golden ticket for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So um, that's for opening night when it comes here. So you guys can go and see that. That's for you. <laughs> I'm feeling overwhelmed again. <laughs> this is going to be really hard to cut. I'm not going to lie. There's Kit Kats all over the outside. Oh look, she's a pro. And you've been baking cakes as well. I hear you yeah. made a sponge cake for your mum's birthday. Mm -hmm. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> should we get some for your family as well? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should. Daryl, <laughs> sitting watching <laughs> and some cake too. Do you want to do the end of the video for me? Subscribe to How to Cook That. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And click here, here somewhere to watch other videos. Awesome! She's a YouTuber in the making. And <laughs> thanks also to my Patreon sponsors who make these sort of videos possible. Make it a great week, and I'll see you on Friday.